Hello, we are with uh, Ruben Cummins. Uh, he's one of the speakers of that today, one of our guest speakers, international guest mm -hmm. speakers. Uh, Ruben, you come from Tanzania, right? Yes. Great. And uh, what was your talk about? Could you share a bit what your talk was about? Sure. So my talk was titled, You Might Not Need Pandas. Uh, and the way I kind of came about that is I've worked on various projects with different people and it seems a lot of the times even when doing very basic data analysis people tend to reach um, to using pandas um, to do a lot of different things so one case in particular there was a CSV file that a strip was reading um, and doing some very simple analysis afterwards he used pandas and the only thing he used it for was to read the CSV file so I had to um, send him a message later and kind of show him how you could do that exact thing just using the standard um, Python library. So I just kind of wanted to expand on that theme a little bit more and find other examples of things that people normally uh, use pandas for and show them that there's different ways you can go about doing these things without reaching for pandas. So I kind of see pandas as a sledgehammer and you don't always need a sledgehammer. So just uh, wanted to you know open um, the the door so people could see that there's there's more than one way to do a lot of things. How did you hear about the event? How did you find out about the event? Oh, so that's interesting. Um, so I like talking at different events. Um, it's it's always good to get different perspectives, meeting the other speakers, the other um, participants, and so. A few times a year, I try to look and see what interesting events are happening. Uh, and I think it was paper call that I wound up um, stumbling across, and I found that there was an open call uh, for this event. And so usually I look for either Python conferences or data conferences, because uh, most of the work I do revolves around either working with data or using Python. And this was just, I thought it was a great opportunity. Um, I hadn't um, spoken at a, a data day event before, so I thought it would be a really interesting and great opportunity to have. Great. And uh, what have you seen in Mexico? Uh, is it's your first time in Mexico? Yes, yes. Oh. My first time in Mexico. Um, so I've seen a, a bit of this area that the hotel is in. Uh, so I'm, I'm staying at an Airbnb that's not too far away. Uh, and so for the past few days, I've kind of explored um, what I could with that's within walking distance around here. So I've, I've been to a few coffee shops. Um, I've enjoyed the street food. That's been very, very good. Um, and just kind of been walking around. So I haven't really made it to, I guess, the the must-see landmarks. Yeah, must see them. Um, so I think I'll have to make another trip to Mexico. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. Have to make another trip. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Uh, and what about the conference? How have you... Uh, you met lots of people. Uh, I've seen you talk with lots of people. Yes. Uh, how do you see the audience in the event? Uh, I don't know. You're in events uh, all around the world. So. <laughs> yeah. So I've I've had a really great time. Um, I've I've been to a few of the um, Spanish language uh, talks and the, a few of the other English language talks, and they've all been very good. Um, I, don't, I don't know Spanish, so I'm sure I missed um, <laughs> quite a bit of what was being said. Um, but I was fortunate enough to sit with one of the speakers of the talk, okay. of one of the talks that, that okay. I did see. And so he was able to kind of fill in the blanks for some of the things that, that I had missed um, during his talk. Um, but it's been really great. I've met some really interesting people. Um, someone who didn't make my talk um, but wanted to know more about it. Um, so it was really great talking to her, just kind of giving her an overview of what my talk was about and learning about what she does and how she uses Python. Okay. So I've, I've had a great time. Well, it's been great to have you. Hopefully uh, you can come again either to one of our events or some other event to Mexico. Okay, well thank you. Thanks for having me.